Hello everyone, this is Nate just making a quick tutorial for learning how to do torque rolls. Um, I'm using Real Flight 6.5 and uh, Tominator's gas slick variant that you can download from the SWAT pages. Um, it's a pretty nice flying airplane. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take off and jump right into a hover um, and establish a good, a good hover here. So, can, um, I'm assuming at this point you probably already know how to do this. How we already can do a sustained hover. Um, requires some right aileron input to fight the torque of the motor. And uh, this is pretty safe uh, once, you, once you've done some practice. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take back off my aileron input. Whoop, and let the torque of the motor turn the plane. And that is a torque roll. Once you get it really established, it's pretty easy to maintain. Um, and uh, the trickiest thing here is knowing how to make proper adjustments in both the canopy in attitude and the landing gear in attitude. Um, and after some practice, this becomes second nature to you, but as you're learning, um, one little key. So let's talk about belly and hovering just for a minute. Probably a review for some people. Um, but uh, it's more challenging for most people to learn because they're so used to looking at the canopy. Um, and uh, so the trick is that I do is when I'm belly in like this, I usually watch mostly the tail um, and push the tail the direction I need it to go in order to maintain this hover. Um, let's get over here where we're not in the flight line. And then um, some people like to use the, uh, they think about the low wing, whichever wing is dropping gets the rudder, so you push the rudder stick the direction of the low wing. Um, that works too, so whatever works for you, whichever way you like, uh, it's great. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this one step further and add some aileron input actually have the aileron peg going the same direction with the torque. Um, so it speeds up the torque roll quite a bit. And uh, the nice thing about this is the, the attitude adjustments that you make are similar to what you're going to make in a rolling carrier. So if I just maintain that and go ahead and just roll out of that, um, it's the same uh, well, I mean, obviously this is more hands-on, but it's the same uh, sort of stick inputs that you use. So since this isn't a rolling Harrier video, go ahead and just land. Anyway, hope that helps some people, and uh, good luck with your practice.